Hello ladies and gentle ladies and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.21 in Fabric and in this tutorial we are going to be creating a tool set so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new package inside of our init package and this will be called enums and that is because for tools we need to have an enum that will be our tool material material that will define things such as the durability the mining speed the attack damage the enchantability the repair ingredient those kind of things so let's go ahead and create a new class in here and this will be an enum as i said and i'm just going to call this tutorial mod tool materials and the reason i'm calling it that and not like tool material in it is because we're not really um, initializing anything in here all we're doing is we are actually just creating a value that we can use somewhere else so this is more like a list i suppose like our food list in fact we could even put the enormous package inside of a list you know what? let's do that let's do that actually that's a pretty good idea so we're going to do that and then i think that'll be easier so from there we can go ahead and implement the tool material class and then we're going to implement the methods and then we're going to need to create some fields that we can then go ahead and return in each of these methods so let's create a private final int durability let's create a private final float mining speed multiplier and we're also going to create an attack damage which is also a float then we are going to create a private final tag key of type block and this will be the inverse tag then we're going to want a private final int enchantability then we are going to want a private final ingredient which will be the repair ingredient then we're going to create a constructor that will go ahead and initialize all of these fields and then we can go ahead and return each of these in the respective method so in durability we're obviously going to do this dot durability in the mining speed we'll do this dot mining speed multiplier attack damage this dot attack damage inverse tag will be this dot inverse tag the enchantability this dot enchantability and then finally the repair ingredient will be this dot repair ingredient now we can go ahead and use this as an actual enum so we can create our first value so we're going to create an example value and we first need to supply the durability now i'm going to be creating something that is effectively better than never right so i'm just going to put some kind of random high values for each of these um, but you can obviously compare it with vanilla if you want so if you go into the tool materials class and we go ahead and include non-project items we can find the vanilla class and these are all of the vanilla materials that you can look at as a reference so i'm going to go ahead and set the durability to something like 3 4 uh, 30 maybe then i'm going to set the mining speed to about 12 and then i'm going to set the attack damage to 5 and then we're going to need a tag for now we're going to put null but do remember to change that because we can't leave that as null then i'm going to put the enchantability so 15 enchantability by the way is basically like how enchantable it is i don't know exactly how or what this number refers to i don't know if there's a specific stat that it refers to but basically uh, the higher this number the better enchant you will get on it is my understanding and then finally we need the repair material which will be an ingredient so we need to do ingredient dot of and we can do of items or of stacks i think you can actually do from tag as well if you wanted to use a tag for this we are going to use of items and then in here i'm just going to do item in it dot example item and remember this will be a list of items so you can pass in as many as you want in here so you could also do for example items dot potato maybe or you know whatever so you don't just have to have one singular item as your repair material even though generally you would okay so once we've done that let's come back to this inverse tag here so effectively what the inverse tag is is when you for example when we created our blocks we created a tag that would be used for what 
tool level it's mineable for, right? So if we go into our data generated package in Minecraft tags blocks, you'll see that we have needs iron tool. And effectively, this is the inverse of that. So what we're creating is something like an incorrect for iron tool tag. Now that may seem counterintuitive and personally I think it is, but regardless, this is what vanilla wants. So we have to go ahead and actually create a tag that we can use. Now, if your tool should be or function as the same level as a vanilla tool, then what you can go ahead and actually do is you can just use a vanilla tag. So we can use, for example, block tags dot and we can say incorrect for and whatever level you want to match it to. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually going to create our own tag here. And that way, basically, to just to really show you how to create it is all. So you can use any of these if you wish. However, if you're obviously going something higher than Neverite, then you'll need to create your own. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm actually going to create a new class inside of our init package, and I'm going to call this tag init. And actually, once again, I'm going to use the list class because the list package because I think that's more relevant here. So I'm going to go tag list like that. And then I'm also going to create a class inside of this, which will just be called blocks. Then I'm going to create a new tag key that will be used for this. So I'm going to go public static final tag key of type block and that is net.minecraft.block.block .block. and I'm going to call this incorrect for example tool and I'm going to set this to tag key dot of we're going to pass in the registry keys that it should use so registry keys dot block and then we're going to pass in tutorial mod dot id which is the method we created in the first tutorial and I'm going to call this incorrect underscore for underscore example underscore tool like that and now what we can go ahead and do inside of here is we can say tag list dot blocks dot incorrect for example tool so if you wanted to create another tool material it is literally as simple as copy pasting this so we can go ahead copy paste and you can have your example too you can obviously mess around with your values however you want you can create a new tag for your example too so you could have like example two you might have you know a, a different thing for your ingredient for example and you get the point obviously you can continue that as many as you want now we're just going to be creating one so i'm going to remove that and we're going to actually now go ahead and register our items so let's go into our item in it and below our existing items we're going to go with a public static final and we're going to start with the sword so we're going to go sword item and we're going to call this example underscore sword is going to be equal to register example underscore sword then we are going to give that a new sword item that's going to need to take in our tool material so we're going to need to go tutorial mod tool materials dot example then it's going to want the settings so we're just going to give it a new item dot settings and then we need to provide it with the attribute modifiers so we're going to say dot attribute modifiers and then we're going to go sword item dot create attribute modifiers. Now inside of here, we're once again going to pass in our tool material. So we're going to go tutorial mod tool materials so example. Then we're going to pass in the base attack damage that this should use. So I'm going to say about three. And then we also need to provide the attack speed. I'm not entirely sure how the attack speed works, to be completely honest with you. So I'm just kind of going to copy a vanilla value here. I'm going to say negative 2.4. So effectively, what we're doing here is we're saying that the attributes that this item should use will first of all start with our tool material here, and then it will add on this attack damage here and it will add on this attack speed here so that's effectively how this works and you can imagine exactly how this would work for your other items so your pickaxe your axe your shovel and your hoe are going to be exactly the same so let's go ahead and create those as well i'm literally just going to copy paste them and put them in here there we go so i've gone ahead and created those so we've got the pickaxe the axe the shovel and your mum so from there we are going to now go ahead and do the data gen for all of this so let's go into our data gen package so we're going to go data 
and inside of the providers we're first going to just do the basic stuff so we'll start with the lang so we're going to go translation builder dot add we're going to go item in it dot example sword and we're just going to call this example sword and then we're going to do this for all of the rest all right so now we can go ahead and do the models so let's come into the models and what we're going to do in here is item model generator dot register we're going to go item in it dot example sword and instead of using models dot generated we just need to use models dot handheld and that will basically be what it needs to be for a uh, sword and pickaxe axe shovel hoe etc all right so once we have done those we can now go ahead and create our recipes so recipes as you can guess are going to be relatively simple so what we're going to do is we're going to do a shaped recipe json builder and we're going to create we're going to go recipe category dot combat for the sword so recipe category.combat and then what we're going to do is pass in the item we're going to create so item in it dot example sword like that then what we're going to do is we're going to say an input we're going to give it our e which will be our example item basically and we're going to set that to item in it dot example item then we are going to do input and we're going to say s and this will be and for the stick we're actually we could use items dot stick however since we are using fabric or we can actually do this on like neo forge as well and there is a way to do it on forge but it's not quite the same so since we're on fabric we can go ahead and do conventional item tags dot wooden rods and effectively that will say that it should use the wooden rod tag which is basically uh, as you can see for stick like materials to be used in recipes so maybe it has spruce sticks uh, but you want all sticks to be able to work so basically this allows for some nice mod compatibility there um, that we otherwise wouldn't have had if we only allowed sticks so that's a very handy thing to have there then after the input we can obviously do the pattern so we can say e then we can do pattern again we can say e and then finally we can do pattern again and this time we can say s then after that we can go ahead and offer that to the exporter one thing we can go ahead and do before that is we can obviously add a condition so we can go ahead and say criterion and we can say that we has item and we can do item in it dot example item and then we can do conditions from item item in it dot example item so to be able to do the tag here this is actually going to be slightly different since we're going to need to create a method that will say has tag so we're just going to do that real quick so we'll go private static and this will return a string and then we're just going to say has tag and we're going to pass in a tag key and this can actually be any tag key really um, but for the, the sake of this we'll do tag key of type item and let's make sure we import item and we'll call that tag and then what we'll, we will do is we will return has underscore plus and we're just going to give it the item name or the tag name we're going to say tag dot id dot to string like that and that should work so then we should be able to use has tag and we can do conventional item tags dot wooden rods and then we can say conditions from tag conventional item tags dot wooden rods and now all we need to do is do the exact same thing for the pickaxe the axe the shovel and your mother and there we go so that is all of our recipes done now the final thing that we do need to go ahead and do is we need to come into our block tag provider and we need to add our new tag so we're going to go git or create tag builder and what we're going to do is we are going to say tag list dot blocks dot incorrect for example tool now since this is actually going to be better than never right i'm just going to leave this tag completely empty so we're not actually going to have anything in there at all one thing i will do whilst we're here is i'm going to remove our example tag here also into our tag list so i'm first just going to make that public and then i'm going to take that out of here and i'm just going to replace it here as well so say tag list dot blocks dot example tag and in here i'm just going to plonk our new tag 
or our original tag there and that should fix our error there as well so now the final thing that you do need to make sure you do of course is go ahead and add in your textures and now we'll run the game and hopefully everything should work all right so editor turty worthy here now i did forget in this tutorial that our tools are not going to be enchantable so we need to make them enchantable inside the enchantment table so to do that we need to come to come into our data package here and inside of the provider we're actually going to make a new provider here and this will be the tutorial mod item tag provider and what we need to do is we need to extend fabric tag provider of type item so effectively we need to add our tools to the correct tool tags so that they can be enchanted in the enchantment table because for whatever reason by default they are not so we need to remove this registry key parameter there and we need to replace this in here so registry keys dot item then inside of configure we can actually go ahead and add our tags so we need to call the method get or create tag builder then we need to pass in item tags and inside of here we need to choose the correct thing so we're going to start with swords so what we need to do is we need to add it to the swords tag and respectively with all of the other ones as well so let's do item tags dot swords and all we have to do is say item in it dot example sword and then we need to do the exact same thing with the other ones so we'll do item tags dot pickaxes we're going to add item in it dot example pickaxe we're going to do the same for shovels so we're going to do item tags dot shovels we're going to add item in it example shovel then we're going to do the same for axes so we're going to say item tags dot axes and we're going to add item minute dot example x we're going to do the same for hose as well so item tags dot hose and we're going to add item in it dot example ho like that and now our tools will be enchantable we do however obviously need to go into our data generator class and we need to add this as a provider so we're going to say pack dot add provider and we're going to go tutorial mod item tag provider colon colon new and then what we can do is we can go ahead and run our data gen of course to make sure that we generate these json files so that has completed we can now go ahead and run the client and we should see that everything is now enchantable inside the enchantment table okay so let's just come into an enchantment table let's place in our sword and some lapis and we can see that we have some enchantments so we'll get sweeping edge one obviously these aren't going to be great enchantments because I'm not using any bookshelves or whatever, but you see that all of these should be enchantable. And if we place these all in here, you can see that they are all enchantable. Now, if we first of all break the stone, you'll see that that is nice and pretty fast. And we can do dirt, we can do wood, and we can also break cobwebs with the sword, of course. And if we find a cow, there was one here just now, hopefully it does a nice bit of damage. Yep, so it just goes ahead and one hit those because we set the damage quite high for these. And obviously your mother should be able to work pretty well too. So yeah, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please do be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And if you have any problems, of course, you can join my Discord server, which is linked in the description down below. That is much better than asking in the comments because I usually don't get around to seeing the comments, unfortunately. So if you join my Discord, that is a great place to go ahead and get help with any problems on any of these tutorials if you'd like to support me to continue making these tutorials obviously my patreon is linked in the description as well so you can go ahead and support me for a couple dollars a month and yeah that is it so the next tutorial will be armor and then we'll move on to hopefully more exciting things maybe entities uh, maybe enchantments potions uh, i'm not entirely sure but yeah we'll go ahead and do that so i will see you in the next tutorial Good. Bye.